Hey guys, and welcome to my Christmas home tour for 2020. If you're new here, hi, my name is Taryn. I live in Western Australia, and I make sort of mummy videos, lifestyle, home, that kind of thing. And in case you can't tell, I love Christmas. So there's always plenty of Christmas videos at this time of year coming from me on this channel. So if you like that kind of thing, subscribe, hit the like button, and let me know that you're here. For those of you that have been around for a little while, this year's home tour is gonna look a little bit different to the previous years. I broke my toe just a couple of days ago, so I can't really walk on it for very long. Usually I walk around and narrate as I'm filming, but this year I filmed a few clips. I'm gonna do a voiceover. So hopefully that's gonna keep me off my feet for as much as possible. Everything that I have bought new this year, I have already done a video on a couple videos back. So I'll link that in um, the cards up the top here. So if you wanna know where anything's from, chances are it's linked in that video. Otherwise, if you are curious about anything that I'm showing in the video, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can find a link for you. Now I know these videos tend to grow forever, so we're just gonna jump straight into it. As always, we're starting at the front door to our house. To the right is the front living room and our first tree. And to the left of the front door is sort of a makeshift entryway. We have our shoe cabinet. I've added a few things on top. The North Pole sign is actually a DIY. The text and graphics are a decal that I ordered from Etsy, which I'll leave a link for that below. And then I just bought some craft supplies from Riot and made the frame. I've added a wreath and a stocking, which is something I always do here on these hooks. And then I have this little Santa's magic key to let Santa come in our front door since we don't have a chimney. I like to keep the colour palette fairly clean and neutral and then have pops of red. I also added a few pinks in this year, which you'll see in just a moment. But before we go into the front living room, I'll just turn around and show you the Christmas tree. This tree has a lot of picks in it and then it also has um, some baubles that I got from Pottery Barn a few years ago on a major clearance and that really was my inspiration for this tree, those baubles. thrown some Christmas cushions onto the white couches in this room and then I had a new round coffee table to decorate this year which was exciting. I've placed a uh, wooden tray on a wreath that I have, then there's a few little trees on top with this new pink Santa, some pine cones and some candy canes. This glittery pink Santa is really one of my favourite items that I have in our home. I've added some greenery and some lights to the buffet that our TV sits on and I love how that looks at night. Our kids have collected quite a few Christmas books over the years so I thought this year I'd display them in this little sleigh that I got from Target and again I have some pine cones in there and some greenery. The piano to the right of the TV is my parents but we're looking after it for them while they move house. Um, and it has some of my favourite things. Again, um, these ranges from Pottery Barn are probably my actual favourite things in our house. I've added these red and white pom-pom garlands to all the windows in our living areas. To the left of the TV, we have our fireplace and the shelf, and then you can see our second Christmas tree poking out from the next living room. I just love this photo of Taylor with Santa. She'd written in the card. It was from a few years ago, but it's always one of my favourites. And then in this little nook behind me, we have the Christmas Village, which we've been collecting over the years. My parents usually get us a, a house or horse set every year for Christmas, and then there's a few things I've bought along the way as well, and I just love it. And then to the right of the village, I just have my desk, and I've just put some berry sprays in the vase just to sort of add some festivity to this little area. We'll head back to the entryway and this time enter the dining and kitchen area. The kids have their advent calendars already up on the fridge and they're so excited. They're counting down the days till they can count down the days. The dining area has my third and final full-size tree in the corner and then I have the centerpiece in the middle of the table, which I've been doing the same way for years. I like to decorate my clock with some greenery that matches the greenery that's on top of the kitchen cabinets. I use some berries and then always a bow. I have all my lights connected to smart plugs so that I can turn them on and off from my phone, which is a lifesaver, honestly. Now heading in 
into the other living room which is where the kids do most of their playing um, and this is the Christmas tree where Santa leaves the presents on Christmas Eve. I have another wreath on a tray with a sleigh. <laughs> And then I've kept this tree quite simple again with some pink and red and a lot of berries. kids first of December box is all ready to go and they've been having so much fun trying to guess what's going to be in there this year. And just in case if you're wondering if my kids actually do live here, this is the reality. In the kids bathroom I've just hung my Santa robe and put a little Christmas tree in there as well. In our room I've kept it quite simple and just added some lights to our headboard and then a few touches here and there. In Taylor's room now, I let her do all her own decorating this year. She had a tub full of decorations that I basically gave her and just let her go to town. So this is what she's come up with. Uh, Owen is less into decorating than Taylor is. He prefers to keep all his superhero bits and pieces around, but I managed to add in a few Christmassy touches here as well. And that is the home tour for 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If I do add anything else to the decor, because let's be honest, it's never fully done, is it? If I do add anything else, I will show it during Vlogmas. I'm doing Vlogmas this year, so I'll be here from the 1st of December. Like I said before, if you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.